What's going on, everyone? This is Wild Boy seven eight nine seven eight nine. Today we have the battle of half men, the beast men versus the lizard men. The lizard men are being played by a friend of mine, DVD Awesomeus Maximus, and the beast men are being played by me. So uh, this is using my long battles mod. Let's go ahead and check out some of the units. Slow mo. He's got some cold one rider cavalry over here, and. Saurus spears with shields. You know what? We really might as well hit play. Chameleon skinks. Crocgar. We'll hit play once I'm done with his uh, army. Chameleon skinks. Temple guard for good measure. And a feral carnosaur. I've got Chaos Spawn, a Gorbul, which means my lord is Malagar the Dark Omen. He'll be summoning a Saigor in a second. We have Ungor Spearman Herd with shields. I love Ungors. We have some uh, Razor Gore Herd. There's my Saigor coming up. Just to get things kind of started. One unit of Bestigors. Two units of Centigors with great weapons. And two units of Ungor Raiders. Man. So we're getting off to a, a good early start. Buckle up. Because this battle is... Uh, 44 minutes. I don't think we'll need the, uh, the things. Enjoy this one. Back over in the distance, you can see some razor gore attacking some archers. Now, while the lizard men have crazy defense and pretty good attack, the beast men are known for charge bonus. Even the umbors, that's why they charge them with their heads, their little horns. What's going on back here? We got Krokgar fighting the Gorbul. And not letting him even get an attack off. Swing's gotta be doing some damage though. The Beastmen Chaos spawn on the flanks. Cavalry in the back. And archer shooting down. I'm totally implementing my game plan on this front line. Back here we got the best of gores fighting some temple guard. Truly a battle of legends. Each of us brought one elite unit. But real quick, we'll come right back to this. He's got his skink skirmishers out here, and he's totally winning the cab skirmish battle against my razor gore piggies. That's only going to be a matter of time. A 
Battle of the Beasts. Razor Gores are very cheap, good units to throw in, get stuck in, just get as much damage as you can off. Busy skinkman. Go take a look at my archers getting some volleys off before they run out of ammo. I just love watching volleys. Is it not happening? Yeah. Shooting the dinosaur, I think. So while I have more control of the front line, he's definitely got the big unruly beasts in the way. Uh, both of our archers are pretty safe, and he's winning the cav uh, engagement way over there. Ah, I sent in my Centigors versus the Temple Guard. That's not very fair of me. It looked like they were just inching out my beast of gore, so I wanted uh, even the odds a lot. Temple Guard is really chopping up my cavalry. It's not the best move. There comes the Carnosaur. Lizard men are so many colors, it's hard to even see what they're doing. It's like a Jackson Pollock fight in you. where there's only a few here. The way they jump and how they're full of colors and weird spiky bits, and they're just hard to see. What's going on over here? The Ungors are marching down. Lizard men have kind of got this flank, but I'm sandwiching them. Pretty good holding the front line with some Ungor Spears. These Chaos Spawn are going to be absolutely nasty on this flank, though. Looks like I'm getting off some arrows. Probably into their cavalry. I don't think I would target the uh, Skinks. Look at this guy getting stuck in. Got a rogue Lizzie. And one of my brave spearmen. Come on, beastman. Oh, he's got friends. Big bad lizard's gonna be tough. I think this little fight's gonna tell us what's uh really happening in the front lines. The other guy's like, I'm out of here. Okay, he's back. <laughs> Three of them. Now the archers are shooting back this way at something. Just shooting to the Oh, maybe into the Carnosaur up there? Looks like they're shooting into the front line. This Lizardman will not give up. They are tough. I'd have to say they're 
They're slightly less durable than the dwarves, but like extremely durable. And a little bit more attack power than the dwarves. Oh my god, someone's got to win this. We're getting attacked from all sides now. Man, this little fight's taking a long time. Not giving up on it now. This lizard's gotta die. They might be they might be tougher than dwarves. Come on. His the spearmen are giving up. Like this lizard's clearly blessed by the gods. Come on. Got him. Cut his arm off. There it is. Okay, what did we miss? Frontline's still holding strong. Sidegore's so throwing rocks at something. Boom! To the skinks. The skinks and the archers are out of ammo. They're gonna fight. It's like a little bit less epic version of the frontline battle. I like watching the cheap units duke it out, though. Made the skinks a little funny looking. Didn't they? They look a little more Jurassic Park in here than they did in the uh, trailer. Are these guys still shooting? Looks like it. Razor piggies? Dead. Still holding back this calf. They very much did their job. Very tough. And the elite units. Uh, it's an absolute mess. I assume the, the gore beast. That's what they're called. No, gore bull. The Gorbel and the Carnosaur must have ran into the lines and just spread everyone everywhere. Because we got just no lines at all. It's just a mix of beasts and lizards. Some of the cavalry as well. Let's check the time. Balance of power is even. 33 minutes. Goodness me. Off with your head. Off with your head! This fight's so epic, though. Boom. They're still pushing me on this flank. Very good. Although their front line on this flank has seen better days. Lizard men are holding. I'm totally winning this flank, though. That massive charge. Trotgar is doing work. Oh, here's my general. Haven't seen him in a while. Is he doing that to the ground? That's pretty cool. 
like super chaos tainted beast shaman. Merc to the archer battle. Battle of the archers. I'm surrounded. The thing about my mod is, though, being surrounded hurts your leadership at very low health, but when you're still healthy, it's... I mean, it helps you get more kills. Because just physically, leadership aside, these guys here on the corner that are getting flanked will be getting hit by two sides, and they can't block two sides. See this guy on the very far corner? He's getting hit all around. And that's got nothing to do with your leadership or anything. That's just... Uh, what flanking does. You're in a block of infantry. These guys here even are getting like three to two, four to two odds. If you're on the corner, you gotta fight two or three people. That's why flanking's good. You don't even really need a leadership uh, effect in the game, if you ask my opinion. Skinks are tough. Proven to be uh, quite hard to kill. Because even though we're holding, I can't help but notice their line's a lot thicker. Ungors are so versatile. I know I said this in the beginning, but they're literally my favorite unit. Especially for the Beastmen. They're probably my top four favorite in the entire game. What's going on over here? The cavalry winning yet. We got two on one there, three on one there. The pigs are still just hold him. It's almost like a cavalry shield. That's what the pigs are. Anything you throw them against, they'll hold back. like they'd broken them. Or I'm just pulling back. Lizard men cap victorious and that's going to spell danger for the archers and the rest of the battle subsequently. They're coming in. Oh, they're coming in. And my mod also, because people fight for so long, all the units will end up very tired. So it's a very valid strategy to wait around and uh, regain your energy. That was absolutely nasty. Cavalry is just a wave now. But it was good I was able to hold it back for so long. It looks like the frontline battle has moved on. I have some cavalry of my own. Very fast. Centigors are super fast. But like, like I said before, it's only going to slow them. Maybe get a few kills. I do have great weapons. You can hope, hope to kill one or two of them.
Oh, the pigs are back. It looks like I was running them forward, then running them away. Oh, no. Nasty. Those archers are gone. A lot of them will get up. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Almost all of them got up. But yeah, they're not going to be happy about that. Are we going to the main engagement? The piggy's resting. Those are archers. Still some skirmish fighting going on here. Except these are my ungors. These are not my, uh... No, these are archers. Everything's pretty much moved to the blob. The end game blob. Check the clock. 25 minutes. So we're about halfway through the battle, actually. No piggies. None of my piggies back. I think they're gone. Well, I think one unit's gone. One piggies come home. Saviors of the battle. Maybe. Looks like their cavalry fled. No, this is just a unit. They're just cycle charging the ball. Chaos spawn are still still doing work. It looks like my sideboard just fell. No, I'm getting up. Gore bowl gonna be very important. Looks like the blob is mostly my units though, which is good. Even though they're the one cycle charging and hitting me from the outside. And I got two big old dinosaurs in here. Chaos yeah, spawn coming in. More beastmen from somewhere coming in. Sphinx right behind him. Oh man, that was huge. Something just exploded. Just saw Skink lose his head down here. Oh my god. Go get him, Cygor, you're bigger than he is. You got a cuter face too. Cygors are adorable. I want a Cygor plush. These spears are really doing their job, and I'm, now I'm especially glad I brought spears because of this cavalry. I wasn't really expecting too much cavalry. I brought the spears because I was expecting these, these monsters. Brought some of my own monsters. You know, it's 
kind of weird that lizard men are are good guys. I just realized these chaos spawn have like tails sticking out their back. <laughs> That's a bit ridiculous. It's weird that lizard men are like the extremely good guys trying to preserve the world and commit to the great plan and stuff. Because all man animal mixes are pretty much chaos tainted. All the beast men, all the dragon ogres, the uh, skaven, the rat men, as they used to be called. But lizard men are somehow these mutated lizard people, but they're not mutated by chaos. They're mutated by the aliens who are fighting chaos. It's very interesting. What's going on back out here? They're just coming in and out. The razor pig's gone. I never saw it, saw them come back in. I believe I have something over here now. No. Okay. Surprisingly, these beast men tend to just clean up when they get stuck in prolonged combat. They're really proven to be tougher than they look. It's gorbal. Swing your stuff. The side wars lasted forever too. I was pretty sure to have a time limit, like most summons. Apparently, uh, not. Wizard men cam charging in. Now it's looking like a wizard men victory a bit more. Still got their two monsters, their general. Where's my general? You can tell by the glowing ground. I swear I got some cavalry somewhere. Unless I spent it. Let's take a look at the clock again. 18 minutes. Can I show you the last, like couple minutes we're going to be fast forwarding because it's uh it's uh it's a bit of a grind fest but this is still pretty interesting <laughs> no he's trying to like charge the dinosaur it's unwise their cavalry is somewhere but I swear they just their infantry got evaporated. They just disappeared. I didn't notice that so much while I was playing. Men seem like one of the more OP factions too, especially compared to like, you know, well the Empire or something. The Empire is, uh, I don't think they're underpowered. I just think their infantry is underpowered. They're all about ranged attack and magic is huge in the Empire and abilities. Like you got to use your Witch Hunter right. You got to use your Warrior Priest right. An empire is not easy to play. But, you know, lizard men seemed like a tough get your monsters stuck in faction and nothing can beat you. And the beast men are looking tougher here. 
Oh, there's that cavalry. I mean, it's going to be close. I'm just saying, you know, infantry-wise, the beastmen have really impressed me. here. Breaking units. The battlefield littered with bodies. Could have swore there was something out here later in the battle. Not seeing it though. You know what, too? I wonder if this desynced a bit, because I was told this battle was for an older version, so I might not even know who's going to win. And I could have swore I had some cavalry over there in the woods. So what desyncing does, pretty much, is the replay takes all your movements, all your attacks, all your commands at the time they were given, and redoes the battle. So we're watching a live battle right now. But if they change the stats, let's say the Skinks get 10 less health or something, the replay will play out exactly the same, except your Ungor archers fighting the Skinks will be chopping off their heads a lot quicker, and that can change the whole outcome of the battle. Now some nasty things with desyncing are when a unit is stuck out because he was not given a command to move till like three minutes later, and he's just standing there, and it's ugly. But this looks like, even if it did desync, it's uh, playing out pretty good anyway. And it's not a totally live battle. If you remember chopping off the general's head or something, somehow the replay will remember that when you kill them, you chopped off his head. And it will go back to the kill animations that you did. It's very interesting how they do replays. Now we're getting down to just a few monsters. Let's fast forward it a little bit, what do you say? You guys won't be mad at me. Fast forward doesn't even go that fast. One second, two second, three second, four second, as opposed to one, two, three, four. It seems like it's the same speed, really. Well, let's go. Let's go a little faster. We're at 13 minutes. Let's look at the health bars, too. The dinosaurs are very low. They're in crazy mode, which is good, though, because they're pretty much... Uh, what is this here? Okay, he's gonna finish me off. They're pretty much AI when they go crazy, which is great. Because if you forget to micro or... Sometimes your front line will be fighting and they'll stop for a second because the lines got parted. He'll uh, be microing himself to keep pushing forward. The balance of power is a little bit in the Beastman's favor. But it's not going to be all that easy. Lizardmen Cavs still coming in. Still trying to break my uh, few units that have no health and no leadership at all. Oh, they're down to just Krokgar. Although I assume that Carnosaur will come back. Yep, and the cavalry. Let's watch this charge. how they're going to win with the charges. The beast men just need to sustain. That Cygor is monumental. He's got a little bit of health left. But that basically kept my general at half health. No, it's the Gorble. Where is my general? Is he gone? He might be gone. No, he's over here. Almost full health. The lizard men couldn't really focus the general. 
They are breaking the units, though. We each have a general. I have some chaos spawn and a Cygor and Bestigors and a Gorbul. And he's got a crazy Carnosaur and Krokgar and some cavalry that keeps coming back for charges. It's all going to rely on killing his general, though. I'm moving my general out. Try and finish off this Carnosaur. I can't get over the stuff he spawns around his feet. That's super cool. Looks like he's broken. This Corporal charge is nasty. Probably got the nastiest charge in the game besides the Bretonian King on Beaquis. It's not gonna push the dinosaur, but trust me, there's a lot. Oh my goodness. Those explosion things are huge. Queek Headtaker has one for this gate as well. There comes the Carnosaur back. The health and leadership is not really mattering on these big monsters. Oh, he's stuck. Did decent? No, we're good. We're good. These charges, that's gonna save the day if you can do it. Now it looks like I've got nothing left. Looks like it's just my lord. Oh, they killed the Cygor. No! No! Oh, Barry. You're my best friend. Just up to the Gorbul and the General. Oh, and some Beast of Gores. We can't really stick the cavalry in the long combat, though. It's gonna come down to killing this general with the uh, with the cavalry hitting us relentlessly. I think I'm realizing that now I'm sticking the best of ours on him. That explosion is nasty. It doesn't even affect his own units. I like that. I think I know what I'll be using when I play the lizard men. Ah, who am I kidding? I love the Mazda Mundi. I'll be using the Mazda Mundi. As good as melee lords are in combat, the big advantage I find to bringing mage lords is they can cast all your spells in the back and not get killed. And you can have a hero, a melee hero, get in the fight, and if he dies, your lord is still alive. That's what I did here. I have my lord to summon the Cygor, and my hero to do all the rough fighting. I can just throw him in not there. Oh, what's going on? Am I breaking? No. Turning around for a charge. I told you the last little bit of the battles are grind fast. I also told you I'd be fast forwarding it, but I don't think I will.
Come on, Gorbo. I believe in you. These charges are ridiculously nasty. Reinforcements on the way. Save him. Oh, smashed me with the tail. Almost put me in his butt. Did they kill my Gorble? <gasps> no. Kill my Gorble. Franklin. No, he was my friend. Alright, that's ridiculous. Mage General versus Croc Guard General versus Fling Bistigors. Oh my goodness. And he is just going to be tossing me around the battlefield. Oh no, their cavalry's here. Oh my god. I think you guys know who's going to win this. Bird man, bird beast, evil chaos, man beast man. Where'd they go? Oh, he's hiding. That's the gores. Save some magic for the end. It would have been epic to cast a spell on these uh, cavalry or this lord and blow them up. No, we're stuck with the the axe. No. Go get him. Oh my god. Nastiness. Cavalry going back. To get a nice charge, perhaps. Beastmen wandering. The planes. He's been pushing the cavalry out. We gotta be down to like the last minute or two. I don't wanna spoil anything. With the uh with the interface. And I'm being bashed by the tail. Sticking my axe where the sun don't shine and the staff. That pointy staff. Ooh. It's got a body on it. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> so I do want to thank, thank my friend DVD for playing this battle with me for doing the mod. My first online battle with the mod. I would like to do a free-for-all. i got to get two more players willing to be my friend. But it was really fun.
Oh, and I win. <laughs> you didn't see that coming. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, peace.